Hey, what up guys, it's Coach Duran. And do you find that despite your regular training, your bag work, your mitt work, your road work, you're doing everything that you need to do in the gym and outside of the gym, you're also even getting all that nutrition and hydration that you need. But despite that, after several rounds of sparring, you're gassed, you're winded, you're fatigued. Today, I'm here to tell you that there's several key elements that you're missing. And today I'm going to show you how to tap into those inner resources that God bless you with so that you can maintain high energy levels throughout your sparring, maybe even double the rounds you're normally doing, and you can walk out of the ring without feeling drained or fatigued. All right, so the very first thing is maintaining a very strong physiology. And in boxing, we're gonna call this a poker face. So with that, I mean keeping strong body language, um, body posture, even facial expressions, along with your breathing. All right, so we all know what a tired fighter looks like. Hands down, shoulders drooping forward, flat-footed, and breathing heavy through the mouth. Now, if you have somebody like that in front of you, even if you are tired, you're probably gonna forget that you're tired and you're gonna pounce on that, pounce on your man in front of you, and vice versa. So we're required to keep a poker face at all times to not only keep your opponent at bay, keep him guessing, and it will allow you to maintain a certain level of energy. So if you find yourself behaving like a tired fighter, then I want you to do the exact opposite of what a tired fighter does. All right, so I told you, um, tired fighter, shoulders, hands down, flat footed, breathing through the mouth. So you're gonna do the exact opposite, all right? So you're gonna pull your shoulders back, take a deep breath through the nose, slowly through the mouth, and then get on your toes. And I promise, just by doing this, you're gonna feel a lot better. So you're gonna do this um, in between rounds, obviously not when someone is throwing punches at you, or you're gonna create space, move around, and again, uh, adopt the physiology of an energized fighter. So when you see pro fighters and even elite amateur or experienced amateur fighters, when you see them disengage, they step out of range, or when you see them do stuff like this, they'll drop their hands, go for a walk. My coach taught me to do something called a walk-off. It's the same idea, um, step out of range and just go for a walk, turn. And then you could stop and you know do all that fancy stuff, whatever, drop your hands. So the whole purpose behind that is to get rid of all the tension out of your body and get your second win. Again, so maintaining a strong physiology is maintaining control of your breathing. So you'll find that um, you could do 10 rounds on the bag easily, the speed bag, shadow boxing, whatever. But after a couple rounds of sparring, you're gassed and you're winded. And that has a lot to do with not maintaining a good breathing rhythm. So like I mentioned before, a tired fighter breathes mostly through the mouth, which I mentioned in another video that activates your sympathetic nervous system, which puts you into a state of stress, a fight or flight response. So you wanna be breathing through the nose as much as possible. Um, what I always teach my fighters is when you're not engaging, you should maintain space, maintain some distance, and get control of your breathing. So you wanna keep your mouth closed and try to maintain the breathing through your nose as much as possible. Your breathing should match your movements. So if your movements are explosive, your breathing needs to match that. And you can exhale through the mouth, that's fine. So if I'm throwing fast combinations, take a deep breath in and then exhale in the other combination. And again, if I'm not engaging, I wanna be mostly nasal, all nasal if possible. If I want to throw single shots, ha, ha. double shots, ha, ha. Ha, ha. okay, burst exhales. Similarly, on defense, you want to exhale, even when you're defending. Shh, 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 shh. Sometimes, again, guys under stress or Frustration will kind of hold their breath. That's how you get the wind knocked out of you. So I can even take a shot and exhale. Get used to exhaling um, with your defense as well as your offense. 
and being as nasal as much as possible in between engagement with your opponent. The last key is something that I call emotional leveraging. And know that emotions are energy in motion. And there are many emotions, but I've identified the top three that all great fighters use to maintain high levels of energy. I just believe it's a part of who they are as fighters. Um, these three emotions that I've identified are excitement, confidence, and gratitude. I really believe all great fighters uh, maintain these emotions. All emotional states have a very specific and intrinsic physiology attached to them. In fact, if you change one, you automatically change the other. It's just the way we're wired. In fact, the great Tony Robbins calls it a cybernetic loop. So we do have the ability to, to adopt uh, empowering emotions at will. And with that said, um, when you think about uh, a fighter who's excited and confident, what does their physiology look like? What does their facial expression look like? What does their breathing pattern look like? What does their body language look like? Um, to me, I already when I think excitement, I think about Manny Pacquiao, Tyson Fury. There's a lot of fighters, but I would actually like you guys to put in the comments fighters that you you automatically think about when you think about when they're very excited coming to the ring, looking very confident in the ring. When you start to feel fatigue creep up on you, then I want you to get excited. I want you to get confident and be grateful. Now you know how to do that. You have to change your physiology accordingly. So the thing is this, man, gratitude is an expression of love. If you don't love fighting, if you're not excited about fighting, um, and you don't have the confidence to be your very best, you're in the wrong sport, man. This is a sport that requires these emotions, and it's something you can rehearse even mentally before you even come to the gym. And in conclusion, know that you cannot experience two opposing emotions at the same time. You can't be in a state of gratitude and anxious at the same time. I'm telling you, it's physiologically impossible, it's neurologically impossible, it's emotionally impossible. So when you're in one state, a positive state, empowering state, you will not experience those negative harmful states or those states that's not gonna allow you to perform at your very best. And I strongly encourage you guys, don't just take my word for it, test it out. Put it into practice. Let me know your progress. Hit me up in the comments below. All right, guys, thanks for watching. And if you found this video beneficial, then please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And if you want uh, to check out some of my online courses, visit my website, coachdaronboxing.com. Until the next time, stay blessed.